How do artists make money in the music industry? If you're an artist, producer, songwriter, or just someone wanting to pursue a career in music, keep watching because today we're talking about ways to earn money in the music industry so that you can make a living doing what you love. Let's blast off and get started. JM in your universe. Konnichiwa friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music where we help each other become better artists. I make pop music and every Wednesday on this channel I'm helping others take their music to level 2. If that sounds good, consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell, maybe giving this video a like and sharing it with a friend. My goal this year is to hit 10,000 subscribers, so any interaction helps me a ton if you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If not, I hope you make no money. Well, that went from zero to 100 very fast. Yeah, but your boy is trying to make a living too. Well, you don't need to say it like that. Oh, you're still watching. Just ignore that. Subscribe! All right, my friends, today we are talking about ways to earn money in the music industry. There are a lot of avenues to do so. So whether you're an artist or some other type of industry professional, there are many ways you can earn a comfortable living doing what you love. So let's not waste time and just jump right into it. First, for my artists, let's talk about the seven passive income streams for you. All right, y'all, we live in a post, but still kind of in pandemic world now, and touring is still such a wild card. Shows are getting added and announced, and then they're canceled two months later. But luckily for you, touring is not the be-all end-all that it once was. For artists, there are still seven main methods of making money and they are as follows. Music sales. This is the money earned from literally the sale of your music either on your website or like on iTunes. Music streams. This is the money earned from people literally streaming your music on places like Spotify. Royalties. This is the money accrued from writing your own music that you're owed when your music is streamed, played on the radio, sold, all those types of things. Merchandise. The money earned from physical products related to you, your music, and your brand. Ad revenue. The money accrued from having ads on your website or your blog or even your YouTube videos. As of this recording right now, in order to enable monetization on your channel, here on YouTube you need at least a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within a single year. Which by the way is a lot harder than you might think. Sync licensing. This is the money you earn from getting your songs placed on TV shows or movies. Now normally this is where I would add touring slash live shows, but as I said before, those are still kind of up in the air a bit. Therefore, I'm not really going to dive too much further into it, but yes, you should be getting paid for performing your music live. Now, here are some additional ways you can earn money as a music creator. Some of them are really specific, but these are just some ideas to help you even more. The TikTok Creator Fund. If you're a US resident, 18 years or older, have at least 10,000 followers, and over 100,000 views in the last 30 days, you can join the TikTok Creator Fund. It's not much, but it's another stream of income for you, and all money adds up. Plus, TikTok is still a hot platform, so get on there if you're not there already. Selling beats. If you just like to produce music, you can sell your beats online for a fee and state if you want royalties or not. Now most people I know tend to offer their beats royalty free for a little bit of a higher charge and it's a lot less of a headache not dealing with contracts and stuff. But the choice is up to you, so if you really want to practice your producing skills and make a little money on the side, sell your beats because people are always looking for good ones. Furthermore, making loops and samples. Similar to selling beats, you can also make cool synth lines or other types of musical samples, flute riffs, guitar plucks, doesn't matter, you can sell them online for a price as well sponsorships and affiliate marketing. Another way to get money is getting sponsored or having a brand partnership. This is basically where you create content talking about a specific brand and usually you get some type of code for your audience to use so that way when they use your link you get a portion of those sales or conversions as they're actually called. Plus you should get some sort of flat rate fee for the post as well. Sell your talent. If you're also talented as like a designer or you want to utilize your songwriting in a different way or a remixer, join a site like Fiverr or Upwork and you can help other people with their careers. You can earn a lot of money this way if your reputation gets really good too. Write an ebook. Do you know a lot about a certain music topic that you could write about? Writing an ebook doesn't have to be that long and it doesn't have to be super complicated. And selling it on the Amazon Kindle store or the iBook store is actually pretty easy. So that's a great avenue for you as well. Finally, for my other types of music creators, here are some helpful jobs that I know a ton of artists would love help with if you're looking to get into the industry in other ways. YouTube editor. Video is a huge part of music marketing so if you happen to be good at it, sell your services to edit other people's videos. I know I'd love to be able to afford somebody to do that. Social media manager. Many artists 
hate social media. Record labels have entire departments dedicated to social media. So if you happen to be great at ghostwriting for people and you know how to do social media really well, you could become a social media manager for an artist or a band and earn money helping them grow their audience. Getting songs placed with other artists. If you're a songwriter, you can actually earn tons of money by getting your songs placed with other artists. K-pop is always looking for good demos. Artists in the West are always looking for demos as well. Many songwriters just make a living co-writing or writing for other people and selling their performance slash recording rights to earn money from those songs via royalties. Tons and tons and tons of songwriters earn a comfortable living this way. I once worked with a woman named Michelle Lewis who co-wrote Little Mix's song Wings and she makes a very comfortable living just getting her songs placed with other people. So that's definitely an option for you. And finally, remote producing. Work with artists remotely who record their own vocals in their home and then they send you the tracks over email or Dropbox and you go to town and produce their song. This is especially an excellent option because of the pandemic. It's safe, it's easier, it's cost effective for a lot of artists and you can earn a lot of money this way. There are many ways to earn money through music so think outside the box and your bank account will thank you later. So that is my video on some ways to earn money through music. Question of the video, what's one thing in this video that helped you? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you want to check out my playlist regarding music royalties, you want to learn more about them, I've left a link in the description below so you can check that out as well. And if you like me and you like what I do, consider joining me on Patreon like Maddie here and all these fantastic people to get all sorts of fun rewards, including access to my YouTube calendar to see what's coming to the channel. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller. I will see you next time. See you later. I am a machine, I got a robot, not a robot, I'm an electronic lady.